Hello everybody, this is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft, The Lord of the Rings. And in today's episode, it's going to start raining. We rejoin you, we, well, I rejoin you in the troll shores. Wow, that's... It's thunder. It's going to be loud and annoying and obnoxious. Anyway, oh, didn't mean to do I'm in the troll shores. And I've been informed that in the angle there are Dunedain villages. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Troll Shores Waypoint maybe and then head south and then up the river into Rivendell. I think is what I'm going to do. But anyway, I need to head like over here northeast still. First I need to find a way out of here. Alright, let's just break out. Now we are... We are in Troll Shores. I don't want to waste my arrows, so that's the problem. We have 15, that's not too bad. But still. I had enough of killing orcs last episode. Right. Northeast it is, well. Not northeast, just more sort of east than north. Drop more arrows for me. I need arrows. It's dark. It's raining. And there are orcs everywhere. Gosh. It's very thundery and rainy. Um, yeah. Well, I'm back recording another episode of this because I realised I hadn't done one in a little while. Uh, three or four days. And I downloaded quite a few um, Lego Lord of the Rings episodes. And you guys seem to be quite enjoying that series. I mean, still go check it out if you haven't already. It's a good fun series that I really like doing. So it's definitely a thing you guys should see. And is there a way across here? Like, really? And why are all of the orcs here archers? Like, seriously. And why is it thundering like this? Oh god, you got a scary face. Alright, well. I reckon we should cross across the cross the river. Blah, some pouches. I don't need these, so we're just gonna chuck them out. Because they're not large pouches. Alright, let's cross the river. Because we need to be heading more east anyway. So now we can cross the river. That's good. Oh god, there's a troll. There is our first official troll up there. Well, there we have it. I want to take a screenshot of him when we get relatively close and he turns around. Unless it stops raining. It becomes daytime and he turns to stone. There's an orc up there. I'm a lure down here. I'll kill him before the troll notices. Okay, trolls noticed. Okay, there's the screenshot I wanted, and now we kill. We gotta keep hits. Oh my god, look at that face. Ah! The troll! Alright! Troll Slayer! Now you must die also. Well, there we go, we killed the troll. And we have troll bones to pay for it, so in the death pouch. Put troll bones. Hey! Mr. Gundabad here. Die. Oh, we can't really pick his stuff up. It's just like bones, isn't it? Yeah. Right, well. There we go. We've encountered our troll. Don't think there are many structures in here. Let's hope we don't encounter too many more. God, there's lots of orcs. See, we should probably sleep. 
But it's, there's nowhere safe enough to sleep. As soon as we find somewhere safe to sleep, we will. That's a lot of trolls. See if we can find somewhere safe to sleep, but the trolls will go stone. Why are there so many orcs and trolls? Uh, come on, we need to get to some sort of safety. Yeah, I reckon I can climb these hill fa hills fast. Alright, I seem to be in safety. Sleep. Come on. Let's do this. There we go. Let's see if we got the stone trolls. Oh, they're out. But it's raining. Come on, stop raining and we'll get a stone. Come on, we'll get two stone trolls. Stop raining. Yes! We got the stone troll. What is going on? Okay, we're gonna die. Let's let's use the troll for cover, no? Troll statue two. Let's see if we can get all three troll statues. We got two of them here. Okay, we just wanna get this troll statue. Get it! Alright, cool, we got it. Now we now we now we die. <laughs> we died. Oops. Well, we got the Troll Statue 2 and Troll Statue 1. We just need Troll Statue 3 now. Where am I? I'm still in Troll Shores. Glad we got Troll Statues, though. That's cool. Because if we ever settle down now, we have some ornaments. Or, should I say, guards. There we are. Death Pouch. Okay, we got our Wolf Skin Rug, and now we got two Troll Statues as well. Right, let's keep heading east. Oh, we could tame loads of dogs. With the stuff in our death pouch. Now, I wonder, do orc bones work to tame dogs? Oh, they do. Let's tame them all. Let's tame them all and then see how long they last when faced with orcs. Well, I knew all these bones would come in handy someday. Right, there we go. Okay, we got a lot of dogs now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to start sort of heading sort of south-ish east so we can go down to the angle now. Because we've seen most of what there is to offer in Troll Shores, I think. And why is it raining again? This is the fact that we're being followed by like 18 dogs. It's good. I don't even know how many I did tame. Is it six? We have six dogs. And I bet they will all be dead after like one episode. Like our random follower that we had from the Hobbits in the other series, I'm pretty sure. Dora, wasn't it? Can't remember. Something like that. Anyway, we've slain three trolls by um, one by literally just slaying and the other two by turning them to stone. So I think now it's time that we leave Troll Shores because honestly, I'm a little scared of this place. Right, we're almost out. Just need to make some sort of way across this huge lake. This is probably the shortest way. Come on, dogs. My fleet of dogs. Oh, my arm. So I started... So I started the gym yesterday. And uh, got a personal trainer. And God, did they push me hard. Like, everything hurts. More dogs. More dogs on the horizon. You know what this means? Time to tame more. Let's use walk bones, we got a lot of them. Come here. We have all the dogs. 
these will not last any sort of length. I can't even tell how many we have now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. We have 10 dogs. Yeah, come on. Get him! Aha! Well, there we have it. My dogs absolutely roast orcs, essentially. Alright, so if we... If we head south from here, we'll get... If we just head straight south, we'll get into the angle quite nicely. Hopefully we can find some Dunedain villages to raid arrows and stuff from. More dog. Oh my god. Like, seriously, how many dogs are we going to have by the end of this? Okay, these are all mine. That was just a random one. This is this is stupid. They call me the dogmans. Did this just take some bones? So be it. I don't need them. I've got plenty. Oh, this is ridiculous. Don't let them know those sheep, though. They will eat it. They will absolutely eat the sheep. Right, well, it seems like we're out of Troll Shores now. We're back to the Lone Lands. Which is good. Ah, dog, careful. Just means we won't encounter any more dogs. Which, you know, it's kind of sad, but... We've got enough. It is official that we have enough. Right, how far do we have to go to get... We've got a little bit of a way to go for the angle. But hopefully we'll find it, and it will... Well, we will find it. Hopefully we'll get there this episode, which we definitely will. We've only been here 12 minutes. And then we can definitely find some Dunedain villages and some arrows and stuff. Then we'll head off to Rivendell. Which shall be good. With all of our dogs, if they survive it. <laughs> I mean, even if we have just, like, one dog left in the next episode, I'll be happy. Oh, my God. This is actually stupid. It's stupid, but also hilarious. I heard an orc. Run. I feel like I'm Radagast, except rather than Ruskabel rabbits, I've just got Trollshaw dogs. <laughs> like, why? Why do I have this stuff? But yeah, my Lego Lord of the Rings series is going perfectly. It's going so well. I'm so glad I started it. It's actually brilliant. How far are we? We're not far at all. God, we've got a long way to go. Yeah, I'm so glad I started it. It's probably one of my favourite series aside from this one. So yeah, I really do hope people check it out because it seemed like the first episode's got 20 views and then they're slowly decreasing over the next couple episodes. So yeah, I'd really, really appreciate it if you watched all of the episodes for it. Just because every episode's so much fun. I mean, if you're watching this series, chances are you like Lord of the Rings and you're not here for me. You're here for the Lord of the Rings mod, so... If you want more Lord of the Rings, just go watch that series. It's great. But yeah. Seems to be some sort of building up there. But I bet you we've already been there. In fact, we probably haven't. It's just a Rundar house. It should be good to raid, won't it? I reckon so. I mean, there'll be just a couple, I reckon a couple Angmar stuff in there, maybe, if we're lucky. Hopefully we can get, like, a good Angmar helmet, because my helmet broke. Which we 
need to replenish. Well, we got the hillman. Yeah, there's nothing really in here of any sort of use. So we need to go... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, goodness sake. Come here. He's got my stuff. Dogs, you're useless. There we go, fine. Good, we didn't lose anything. Dogs, you're the most useless things ever. You did absolutely nothing there. Right, let's pick them up. Oh, our coin pouch is full. Right, well. Yeah, I forgot that about the Lone Lands. You know, bandits and that. Anyway, we need the equipment pouch. To get a better helmet. Um, tough blue dwarven helmet would be good because the linen helmets are both lasting. That's glancing hardy. Projectiles. Well, that could be quite useful actually. We'll use that one. There we go. And we got these cool little wings on it. Nice. Right, well, we're re geared up now. I mean, it's not as good as the elven helmet because. Actually, it probably is about the same. But there we go. We've got a nice helmet and we look cool with our little wings. On our helmet. So yeah, we're better. We're sorted. We're re-geared up. Right. Still have a long way to go. If we want to get to the angle. Because yeah, so, um, I got comments saying there are Dunatone villages in the angle when I said we probably shouldn't bother about the angle or something like that in a previous episode. So I was like, oh, oh really? I forgot about them. So yeah, we're going to the angle. Because, yeah, I, I forgot, I forget being told, like, I forget that I have done this mod before in full. Not in full, I, I did miss out some places. I mean, because, uh, for as far as I got, which was, like, just past Gondor, I just got into Gondor. Uh, and I'd done all of Gondor. I had been to every single biome up to Gondor, essentially. So I'd done well, um, and this time I haven't been to every single biome because some of the biomes genuinely don't need going to. So I'm just sort of going to the ones that are on my way. And I that's a lot of biomes and I forget what each biome has in it. So when I get comments saying, Dunedain Villages has, no, oh no you don't, run away, we're not getting invaded again, nope. No, we don't care. We don't care about the invasion. <laughs> no. Never again are we being invaded by Gundabad wargs. Why did my dogs just die? Probably snatched up by one of the stupid invading wargs. But yeah, um, uh, when I get comments telling me certain places have this sort of stuff that I may miss, then please tell me. And I'll make a note of it. And one definite thing was, uh, someone was like, are you going to be going to Harad and Rune? And I definitely plan to go to Harad and Rune. Because I have never been there before in this these mod. Because I never got that far in either of my previous two series of the mod. So I definitely plan to make it there. However, that is a long way down the road. Because like, th those two things are a while away. Hello, hello. So, yeah. Th th eventually, yes, I will be going there. Right now, obviously not. Because I'm still barely into uh, the Lone Lands. But still, I will definitely get there. Eventually. Okay, dogs, we'll leave the bears alone. Let's not, yeah, let's not get mauled to death by a bear. After all we've been through. That wouldn't be a good thing. Hey, it's the path. Right, well. We know we're essentially halfway to the angle. So that's good. We've just got a little bit more to go. 
<laughs> Randomly kill a bird. Why not? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of stuff recently. Um, spending a lot of time outdoors. Around about my house. Uh, helping out in the garden and stuff. Um, moving things. Cleaning things. Jet washing is great fun. Because um, we have a patio outside that's very, very not the right colour. It's brown rather than like light grey. So I've been spending quite a bit of time cleaning that up. And yeah, being outside's really, really been nice because I've I spent a lot of the first half of the. I basically I'm on Easter at the moment. I'm on the Easter holidays from school, and I spent the first five days of that indoors recording videos solidly. So I have Lego The Lord of the Rings scheduled up to like the twentieth of April. Like I've got so much scheduled for that that I have videos releasing daily until the 20th of April at this stage and then in between that I was recording uh, these videos I recorded two or three Lord of the Rings episodes so that's two or three hours of just solid recording not to mention editing rendering etc uh, that I've been doing so yeah that was three days and then it was my friend's 18th so we went to that and we had fun and uh, straight after that at about 9am after that um, surprisingly not hungover uh, me and a couple friends who were also there went to a swimming pool with slides and that that was good fun and then yeah not much else really happened and then came home that was the Thursday and then Friday spent all day outside in the garden jet washing and helping out as worst I can because we're, we're about to get chickens, essentially. So we need to prepare an area for them to go. So, yeah, I've been helping out sort the garden out, essentially. I've been revising really hard for maths. Because uh, most of my subjects, I take computer science, physics, chemistry, and maths for A-level. So they are relatively challenging subjects as A-level subjects go. And essentially... My exam that comes first, which is physics, my first exam is the one that I'm most unprepared for. Physics I'm finding really quite difficult to grasp, and it, I'm not finding it as interesting as the others. And come next year, that is the one that I'm going to drop, is physics. Um, and I'm going to continue computing chemistry and maths. So that's why I'm revising really, really hard for maths, because after... Physics, maths is the one I am definitely most struggling with. Uh, so, maths is what I've spent the majority of this Easter holidays revising, getting prepared, ready. Then chemistry, I'm relatively good at. I'm okay at it. I understand it. I have an interest in it. Stop invading me! Uh, so yeah, I've I've done some revision for that. I've been given some revision books to do, and I've done most of them. Um. But I haven't done any external yet. And then uh, computing, I am super confident in. I mean, in my mock exam, I got like four marks off an A. And that's in a mock with no preparation. So when I prepare for that, I'm going to be fine. And I've got ten days between my last other exam and my first computing exam. So then all I have, another invasion. Are you serious? They really like invading me. But yeah, so I've got plenty of time then to absolutely nail computing completely which will be good a fastness in the wild hey we made the angle well there we have it but anyway um, I'm ignoring these ranger towers by the way because they're a pain to climb and just boring but yeah um, essentially if I can nail completely nail out the park computing if I can do good on chemistry if I can do well enough on math that I can continue it and just well enough on physics that I don't fail it I will be all right for next year oh the Galadrian Wanderer well if a wanderer's arrived near me I should want to meet them because you know wanderers need to meet other wanderers 
Maybe we can buy some stuff. Some Galadrim stuff would be quite nice. But by nearby, I don't exactly know where. So they're just doing a dine down there. Lots of doing a dine. See, it's good that they arrive when we're up here. It's sort of a good vantage point. Yeah, more doing a dine. But yeah, so that that is my essential game plan for my exams is to. Oh, there's a doing a dine village. We'll go and have a look at that. Yeah, I've given up trying to look for this Galadrian Wanderer. Because there's a Dunedain village. Which is nice. And yeah, so that, that's what I'm going to do for my exams. And uh, I go on study leave. Don't know what I'm going to do about study leave yet, because I work. And I work at my school as a cleaner. So, hello. Hello everyone. Yeah, so I work as a cleaner at my school, so I don't know whether the, my school are going to want me to continue uh, like coming into school. And was there flint in that other house? We can make arrows with it. Yes, three flint. We can make some arrows. One, two, three. And I guess it'll be in the death pouch where I keep the feathers. Yeah, one, two, three. Right, let's use this one's crafting table then. Can't use that type of crafting table, we need to use the normal one. But yeah, that, so hopefully I'll be alright, we've got plenty of arrows now as well. Hopefully I will be completely fine when it comes to the exams. Didn't mean to drink. But yeah. So. As far as things go. Oh, a riddle, we'll look at that in a minute. I'm relatively confident with my exams. Now, have we already read this book? Because if we have, I want to read it again. No, we haven't. A flock of green butterflies held aloft with a stiff string. Also the wind whispers, also the wind sings. A self-raising tower grips me with its claws. Also the earth rumbles, also the earth roars. What do they speak of? A tree? I'm guessing a tree. Because a flock of green butterflies held aloft with stiff string well green butterflies kind of like leaves stiff string yeah yeah and then like its claws would be yeah it's a tree it's, it's definitely a tree 100% a tree right so we've done that house that house this house this house is next. Hay bale. Yeah, I can't really use too much from here. This house. Oh, I couldn't use some of this stuff though. More flint. Don't mind if I do. Some more flint. One, two, three. More sticks. This this also replies to that comment that said, why don't you craft um, arrows with... Uh, string and sticks and flint and I was like because I don't have any flint but there you go flint <laughs> now I have flint now is what I'm doing I shouldn't take bother taking any of that iron isn't upstairs to this one yeah just a lot of wheat and stuff right well there's a lot to raid here a riddle. Is that the same riddle? There's another hat, steak. Yeah, same riddle. Well, that's not too interesting. More arrows, yay. So we got 57 arrows now, that's pretty good. Right, well, we found a Dunedain village, but there is, there's a ranger camp up here as well. But yeah. I wonder if that wander is still about. Essentially, this is this is my sort of holiday that I should be off revising, which I'm not, recording videos and doing stuff. And that's because I feel like I'll be fine. Whatever happens, I'll be fine. Because I feel like I can do well enough without revision to just pass me in most of my subjects. 
but when it comes to certain ones oh god there's a wall run So yeah, how many dogs? <laughs> Still feel like we definitely lost one. So yeah, hopefully my exams go well. I'm kind of stressing about them, kind of not. I think I'll be alright. I'm not going to raid this Jindine Tower. We're now sort of heading a bit northeast because I'm done with the angle. The angle we found in Nine Village, we've done all we want. So we're heading northeast up to the Ford of Bruinen. In order for us to cross into Rivendell, which will be fun because they will definitely have some stuff for us. Because all of the ranger stuff is kind of like, yeah, it's not important. But yeah, then the um, elven stuff's going to be like, yay, lots of arrows. Yay, maybe a new bow. Because we've only got a, li a linden bow, maybe a Rivendell bow will be better, you never know. And yay, lots of stuff, so if we can get there, that'll be brilliant. Oh god, they're fighting. Let's keep away from the fighting. There's another camp down here. Yeah, we can we can have time to raid this camp. This stuff. I mean, we don't. I'm not gonna even bother taking some of this food now. I feel like we'll get loads from uh, um, Riffendale. Uh, anyway, because, you know, elves are fabled for their hospitality. Hopefully we get a load of Lembus bread. Because I've already got, like, ten Lembus bread. And it's lasted me ages. So, yeah, we're not going to... We're going to hopefully find more of that. And then have the food pouch just sort of back up. Hey! Alright, go for it. Hey! <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're running away. Oh, wow, we're on low health. Okay. Alright, the dogs are dead. This is the end of the dogs. Run. 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 Oh, God, there are so many. I feel like we may have lost a lot of our dogs, though. Yeah, we've lost a few of our dogs. I mean, they're beasts. But yeah. We're still going to end up losing some. We're not even in the angle anymore, that's why. That's why we're getting roasted by orcs. Alright, well, let's take a... There we go. Stress smoke. After getting swarmed by about 50 orcs and losing most of our pets. We didn't even lose that many, actually. We lose, like, one or two. So we're fine. We're realistically fine. No one's going to die. Not least me. Uh, my dogs probably will. Right, well... Back through the Lone Lands. The amount of episodes I've spent in the Lone Lands. Ooh. Tolkus of Farans, the Iron Hills merchant, has arrived nearby. No, you're not the Iron Hills merchant. Bandits. Bandits everywhere. There we go. Alright, I'm so done with bandits. Glad they didn't take very much. Right. Coin pouch. I feel like we're filling up on coins fast. That's the best thing about bandits. They drop a lot of coins. Anyway, let's have a look for that Iron Hills merchant. Because we have a lot of coins to spend. There's another bandit over there. Right, well, we won't go over there. 
So we'll get up on this high point and have a look around and see if we can see the Iron Hills Merchant. So these merchants seem to be quite elusive. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of merchant around. Which is, you know, sad. I wanted to encounter a merchant and buy some stuff. But if they're not showing themselves, they're not going to get sales. It's only if we end up finding them that I will buy from them. It's a weird tree. It's very, very flat. Weird. Seems to be a ruin of a small tower. These usually have relatively good stuff in them. So we'll take a peek. And that I was right. Unoriented boots, no. Orc bow. Range damage 113. Uh, range damage 150. Yeah, we've we've done a lot better. Ancient sea gods and the rest will leave. New book. Long ago, when the forest covered all the lands to the west and our people were spread across the earth, we were visited by the strange sea gods. In form, they were like tall men, thought with life beyond, though with life beyond. So, at the span of our years, they came from across the sea in great silver vessels built. And built tall dwellings of stone upon their shores. The tales say they wore skin like iron. And their weapons could strike faster than the wind. At first they let our people be. And sometimes they even gifted us with powerful tools and knowledge. Our elders say they came from a far land beyond the sea. And their ships bore them across the waves. To all the far lands of the world. Even upon the very clouds of the air. But as this time went by, these seagulls changed their ways. They started outing and burning our forests. They hunting, hunting us like animals. They stole many of our people away. We never, never to be seen again. We knew not what uh, we did to so anger the sea gods. What an age passed with, and an age passed with the sea and the seagulls were no more. It is said that the sea gods angered the sky gods, and the sky gods destroyed them for it. But we not know why. We only know that the sea gods are no more. Well, there we go. That's one thing to sort of find out that there were sea gods and that the sea gods don't exist anymore. Well then, there we go. The more you know about sea gods in Middle Earth. Yeah, I didn't realise there were gods in Middle Earth or anything, so you know. Still got a long way to go east more than north so we'll sort of divert a bit this way in fact no we'll round round this hill can't bother to climb a hill and so yeah next episode is definitely when we'll reach Rivendell Rivendell is definitely a next episode thing I just don't want to spend one more episode in the stupid Lone Lands Another fortress tower thing. We're not going to explore the ranger towers. We know what's in them, and there's usually nothing. So we'll just take a look in here. See, look, good stuff. A letter to the king, Barlinson of Fundin. Crude, hardy. Yeah, no, that's it. Glowin, son of Dwalin. Right, well, we got a new letter to the king. We need our coin pouch as well. All these travellers around about the place. Hopefully we can see them. We'll read this thing in a minute. I want to have a look for the traveller. I want to look for Glowin, son of Fundin. Not Glowin, son of Fundin, I mean... Glowin son of Dwalin. Because I've got the book from Balin son of Fundin. That's what confused me. 
don't really know where they could be. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Anyway, let's read this book. It's King Dane the Second. It brings me honor to him, uh, honor beyond the words, to inform you that Kazadum is reclaimed. Upon first arriving the Dimral Dale, we were assailed by a small host of orcs, which we took great relish in defeating. We have buried those of our company that fell beneath the grave by Miramir. We have taken residence in the 21st Hall. I was the first to walk beyond the gates of Azanul Bazaar and gaze upon Durin's Bridge. I was the first to return to the ancient home of our forefathers of our kin. What was once what lost is ours again. All Durin's folk will sing of this day for years to come. The day we took back our home, Barnes and Afundin, Lord of Moria. Well, now we have all the letters to the king, I believe, and we've got a full memento pouch. We don't want Aidon Dagger in there anymore. All the rings. Mementos we'll keep there, and the rings we'll keep in this one. Just to create a bit of space. Because no doubt we will come across more books and need another memento bag. There's no doubt about that, I can tell you that right now. Alright, we're right in the middle, but now it's sort of a more straight eastward road. So if we keep heading north much more, we'll overshoot Rivendell. Which is not what we want to do, we want to go to Rivendell. And we've still got most of our dogs. Which is good, even though they will die. They will die when we reach places like Mordor. Where we can't sleep and get rid of the orcs. We just have to keep running. Ugh. Well, I'm getting tired. My brain is falling asleep. How long have we been going? 42 minutes. We can go a few minutes more. And then we'll end the episode. Because I'm definitely getting tired. How much does that Gundabad hate me? They hate me a lot. Angmar hates me a little bit as well. But as for everything else. They seem to be fine with me. Stick on Dunedain for now. Right well. That's where I'm going to leave the episode. I think. Sounds like a good place to leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. Uh, in the next one we will make it to Rivendell. And explore the realms there. And then possibly when we've explored Rivendell a bit. Make it up into the Misty Mountains and see what's up there. Maybe even find Gollum. You never know. But I don't think I have any fish in order to tame him do I? He wants raw fish, and I only have cooked fish. So yeah, we'd have to find some raw fish in order to tame Gollum, and he can come with us as well. You are not welcome here. Neither are you. Step back. Dogs, do something. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> I'll finish the outro in a minute. <laughs> well, that's why the dogs are useful. Stop just getting raided by bandits. Right, well. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. By bandits trying to kill me and raid me. I've got loads of coins. Right, as I was... What are you dying for? As I was trying to say before my dog tried to commit suicide. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. The next episode will be coming out soon. When I have enough block time to record it. And edit it and upload it and stuff like that. Apart from that I really hope you did enjoy. And don't forget to check out my Lego The Lord of the Rings series for more Lord of the Rings stuff. 
and just generally subscribe to the channel like the video and allow me to continue this YouTube channel I mean share with your friends by all means do whatever you can to out my videos shout me out do whatever because I really like more people to watch my videos because I put a lot of time and effort into making them and and I'm very thankful for all of the people who watch them already and I wish more people could also enjoy them so yeah if you want to share my videos around please do uh, make sure you include links to all my stuff with them and everything apart from that I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.